I look like a freaking Cocoa Puff. Hi. I'm Ryan and my life is average. So I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not, but there's been a new trend sweeping the nation, sweeping the world, okay? It has to do with women and men putting a bunch of things on their face. That's what she said. But it was like 100 layers of foundation, 100 layers of lipstick, 100 layers of eyelashes, and it's just people putting an incredible amount of just things and crap all over their face so it looks thick and weird and their eyelashes look like Frickin' spiders and centipedes and their face looks like big orange glue sticks and it is just so terrifying and so frightening and I watched over 40 of them the other day and I was like, oh, this is just, oh, next one. Oh, I can't. Okay, next one. And I got fascinated with these weird videos. But then I thought about it, I was like, you know what? This is so silly and so stupid that people are wasting their time and money putting these things on their face, ruining their skin, probably getting breakouts. And I was like, that is ridiculous. I'm not gonna put a hundred layers of foundation on my face. I'm not gonna put a hundred layers of eyebrows or eyelashes on my face. I'm not going to do that. This is Ryan's average life, okay? I set myself up to a higher standard, so we're not doing that today. We're doing a hundred layers of peanut butter. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach 100 layers of peanut butter, okay? Maybe like 37, I don't know, maybe 12, I don't know. What this is gonna do to my skin, we don't know. And I'd like to say that right now my skin is as nice as it's been basically ever. So, what a great time to just fuck it up. So I have Market Pantry Creamy Peanut Butter here. This is not a brand deal, what a weird brand that would be. Hey, can I sponsor you guys and just rub your shit all over my body? which I guess is technically what makeup is, so maybe I'm just stupid. So I am going to just put all this all over my face. Oh boy. I don't know why I'm doing this. Sometimes when I film, I think it's funny. Like, oh, okay, my thought process was like, I watched a couple of these videos for real, and I was like, oh my God, these are so stupid. I'm sure there's a, someone that did peanut butter, and I kept looking, and they're like, wasn't. So I was like, why did no one put peanut butter on your face? That's so funny. And then I was like, do I have to be the one to do this? Is it me, really? And I went to Target, and it was just like a giant tub for like $5, and I was like, all right, why not? I wish you could block certain people from viewing your videos. Like, you know on Facebook, you can like block people from seeing your timeline, but still be their friend. I wish that like my family and my close friends could still subscribe to me, but I could individually type their names or their accounts so that they just don't even know these videos exist. They could be like, Oh, Ryan hasn't uploaded in a couple weeks. They just don't know that I blocked them from viewing me smearing a bunch of peanut butter on my face like I'm the damn peanut butter baby from Vine. Which I will probably try to reenact soon. YouTube, if you're listening, please make this feature. You can save the relationship with myself and my family and my friends. So, without further ado, this is a hundred layers of peanut butter. I feel like the first layer is going to be the most annoying. Oh, I hope I don't break out from this. Will I break out from this? This is me contemplating this while I'm doing it. Like, I still have time to can the video if I don't want to do it. I still have time to just get rid of it. Great. Well, we have crossed the line here already. We're past the point of no return. This sounds terrifying. I almost feel like I'm putting mud on my face. I've never really put peanut butter on my face before like this. Which is probably a good thing. Because I'm a human being and why would anyone do this? I hate this feeling. I'm going to be looking into the viewfinder my camera so I can see. Yep, already regretting this. Definitely, this is a thing that shouldn't be done ever. I feel like a hipster in LA, like this will be a new trend. Like people will be like, oh, peanut butter makes your face look good. And then everybody's gonna be walking around looking like they got doo-doo smeared all over their heads. You know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna really get in it. Just If that's one layer of peanut butter, I don't wanna know what a hundred would look like, because I'm really slathering it on here. We are definitely not going to make it to a hundred. Oh, why'd I do this? Oh my god. I feel like a peanut butter jelly sandwich right now. I feel like I'm making lunch, but like I'm lunch. And I was having a good hair day today. Like I felt good about the way I looked. <sighs> here we go. Let's just keep going. Realistically, this would probably like only get to like five layers, how much can you do here? What's nice is I'm starting to feel tan. Let's just put a real big glob on here. Sometimes in life, you make decisions where maybe five seconds after you're done, you regret that decision. Maybe it's setting off a firework inside your house. 
you're playing ball somewhere and you, you know you kick it really hard and, you, and then you hit somebody in the face and you regret it you know hey maybe it's you get in a fight with a friend and you're just like why did I do that or maybe just maybe you're in your mid-twenties and you decide that to make people laugh on your YouTube channel you should rub peanut butter all over your face. I feel like a swamp thing, there are many things. Just comment down below things I look like right now. I look like a goddamn beehive. I look like a honeycomb. I look like the poop emoji at this point, but like the bad poop emoji, like the baby poop emoji. Yeah, this is definitely one of those decisions that I regret immediately. But once you smear peanut butter on your face, you can't just go back. You can't just revoke what just happened. It's done. What's done is done. This is so thick. That's what she said. Splicey splice the peanut butter baby. <laughs> Does it feel good? Ah. Ah. Like a Reese's peanut butter cup. I'm just really slabbing it on. There's no way I'm gonna reach a hundred layers of this because it's just not possible. Oh my god. I know I say this in a lot of videos, but if my roommates walk in, this will be the most catastrophic how do I explain this video yet. We've had some good ones. Oh, I just went my eye. But this one will take the cake. And I think my roommate's girlfriend might come in with him. And then they'll probably break up the next day. All right, we're getting close to the end here, people. I there's just, look, it's like. <laughs> what is wrong with me? My skin already feels awful. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I look like a freaking Cocoa Puff. Oh. Oh, God. I look like a tree stump. Okay, you know, let's just put a little bit more on. Sometimes you just have to laugh because it prevents you from crying. Oh my God. I'm gonna cover my eyebrows. Oh, this looks terrifying. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna do one more layer of this, okay? I'm obviously still gonna call it 100 layers of peanut butter so I can try to entice views. But if I did 100 layers, it would be impossible. This is as thick as it's gonna get here. That's what she said. Look at this. I mean, okay? The things I do for you guys. Wouldn't it be funny if this was the video that went viral? Like, it won't. But can you imagine if this is the video that got, like, a million views? I feel my face getting red and, like, stingy. It's melting. I literally feel like my face is melting, like I'm in some sort of... A volcano. If anybody wants to come over real quick, they want to eat me. That sounds sexual, but you know, maybe get some pretzels. It's literally, it's literally falling off my face. Fuck it, go crazy. Make a damn sandwich. You know what? I got you. Have you ever seen a human sandwich before? Now you have. Imagine if a guy, oh my God. Imagine if a guy came up to you picking a fight. And this is what he looked like. This guy would not get in any fights. Just a dude with a sandwich on his face. You are not fighting back. Oh my God. I hope you guys are witnessing the disgusting crap that is happening right now. And I apologize to my bathroom and the sink for what's about to happen to it. I am now a giant human sandwich. I don't know why. So if you've made it this far in the video, you've probably turned it off because your mom walked in the room, you probably put on porn because like you, like the whole joke goes, it's probably easier to explain that you're watching porn right now than a middle-aged man that looks like a giant peanut butter sandwich. So if you made it this far, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up for me for what I just did to my face and my body. This is for you guys. Um, make sure to comment down below another 100 layers video I could do maybe. Maybe we could do a part two to this. What else do you want to see me put on my face? Keep it PG-13, kids, okay? Let's be real, let's be good here. And maybe I'll do another one of these because as weird as this is, it's kind of funny. Like, why is this happening to me? I don't know. And also make sure to subscribe because who would want to miss this riveting content? People are putting 40 hours a week into short films and movies. Look at this guy, huh? Naughty, I'm untouchable. That's it for me. As always, I will see you guys next Saturday, but not really because on Wednesday I have a bonus video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And hey. 
I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much. I keep looking at myself in the freaking thing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hey, stay average. Yeah!